Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my top 5 One Piece moments from 2015. All the moments are from the manga and the manga only. Coming in at number 5 is a fan favorite and one of my personal favorites as well. In One Piece chapter 778, Zoro Cutting Pika. Whether or not you like Zoro or not, Zoro cut a um, Pika, some of the size of Dressrosa, in half, effort effortlessly, and it was so epic. Zoro ripped Pika apart, cut him in half, and then he cut Pika's real body, but was covered in full body arm and hockey in half as well. And it, the whole moment was awesome, and it was very funny as well, with the flashback Zoro had to when he was training with Mihawk. And Mihawk was telling Zoro how he couldn't have any boots or sake until he could fully coat his blade in armament and hockey. And just when he cut Pika in half, I was just like, oh my god, so fucking awesome. Nothing can outdo the scene where Zoro cut Pika. That is undoubtedly my favorite Zoro scene since he entered the new world. Coming in at number four is something pretty recent. Which is the new bounties. In One Piece chapter 801, the Straw Hat Pirates were all received brand new bounties. The entire crew got their first bounties around the end of Eddie's lobby. Now that was a long ass time ago. And for years, fans have been speculating what the bounty to the Straw Hat Pirates would be. I even did a video on it prior to that chapter being released. Now, this is awesome, because after all these years of waiting, every single Straw Hat finally had the new bounty, and Usopp even has his own bounty now. Not a bounty under the name Sniper King, but a bounty under the name God Usopp. Luffy had the bounty of 500 million for taking down Don Quixote do Flamingo, and this was just such a long-awaited moment, I really couldn't not put it on here, just because people have waited for so long, and when I saw about something about new bounty death chapter, you can go rewatch my live reaction, I was freaking out. And then after all of this hype, after all the new bounty, we find out that there's something up with Sanji. We still don't know what it is, but we find out that Sanji is wanted alive. Not dead or alive, just alive. So adding that onto this whole crew getting new bounty just made this one of the best chapters of 2015. Coming in at number 3 is the Kaido Reveal. One Piece Chapter 795. This chapter was awesome as hell. After over a year, after over two years actually, had not seen characters such as Nami, Sanji, Brooke, and Chopper, we got to see all of them in action on what we now know with the Island of Zo fighting off Sheephead, which was awesome. The whole thing was awesome, it got everybody thinking. And then, we got another big reveal, that the Kid Alliance was planning to take down Red Hair Jank. However, even all of that does not compare in the slightest to what we got at the end of that chapter. We were introduced to the man that commits suicide for a hobby. Kaido, the strongest creature. Kaido of 100 beasts. It was, it was so awesome. Kaido just showed up out of nowhere. He was, it appeared, I think it was a Rouge he was talking to, but I could be wrong. But he jumped off of a sky island and got a fucking headache alone. And it was so awesome. This chapter was so amazing. If I had been doing YouTube back then, and you had seen my live reaction to it, you would have seen me having a fanboy attack. I was not critical at all about this chapter, and I really can't be. It was such a good chapter. And all I have to say, guys, is that this chapter is undoubtedly the third best chapter of 2015. And it was hard placing it at number three, but there were two chapters I enjoyed even more. An occurrence incredibly rare. It has happened possibly less than five times in the entire series, but five is the maximum I could say it happened. Coming in at number two, the dragon sighting. 
in one page after 803. We got to see Jesus Bergen find the Revolutionary Army base and report the information to a Captain Blackbeard. But it gets even better when we find out that Dragon had called a meeting for all the Revolutionary Army leaders. And considering Sabo is the chief of staff, these guys must be ridiculously powerful. This was just so hyped. This was so amazing and got me so excited. You had no idea. Go watch my live reaction. I was eating breakfast, reading the chapter, getting ready for school. And I was like, okay, normal chat. Dolly shit, it's Dragon. Like, I was just blown away. Dragon out of nowhere. Oda showing up this Dragon. And in my opinion, when Dragon is in a chapter, it automatically gets it in one of the best chapters of the year. One Piece chapter 803, just because of Dragon himself, it's the best cha it's one of the best chapters of 2015. The long anticipated number one, the best chapter of the year, in my opinion. Chapter 784, the chapter Luffy unrevealed and used the gear for for the first and only time so far in the series. This was so much hype. It was so epic. Luffy first knew Gear 2nd and Gear 3rd during any lobby against Blue Note and Rob Lucci. Ever since then, fans have been speculating what Luffy's next gear would be like. In Chapter 7, 83, Luffy gave a speech on how he was going to beat Dolphamingo's ass and muttered the word Gear 4. Oda went on break the next week, and for an entire week, we were all left speculating what Gear Fork would be. That was one of the most interesting weeks in the entire history that I have been in part of the One Piece community. For an entire week, theories were up left and right. People were researching what Rubber could do, trying to figure out what Luffy's next ability would be. But no one suspected it would be his bound demand form. Where he became like a giant bouncy ball and everything bounces off of him and he covers his arms in hockey. And he's like shattering cities and using Skywalk. This chapter was undoubtedly the best chapter of the year for me. You can disagree with me all you want, but for me this was the best chapter. I honestly, I love Gear Force. I think its design is so Oda. I also think it's something Luffy would come up with. I don't think Luffy's very bright, and I don't think I don't see him coming up with something really badass. I feel like it's this Luffy personality and what he would come up with. It is just, this chapter was so amazing. You can tell I'm fanboying just talking about it. After all the waiting for the new gear, after all of it, we finally got to see Luffy new to Gear 4. And that was utterly amazing, and I'm very happy it happened. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like. Comment and subscribe for more videos of the One Piece Nation signing out. And remember guys, Happy New Year! Make the best of the new year, and I hope you guys all have a great day.